Today I broke the the garage. Me and Steve make another birder. So I present to you the uh, 1953 R180 International Pickup. Welcome Broke Just a Garage. So, I hooked a battery up to it that I know is good. And the fuel line, this is the one coming from. So, after this, since this thing's been running, I want to know if it's going to pump any fuel from the tank. What I should do is grab the battery before I. Well, let's see if it'll even crank. But I think I'll grab the battery back out of there, bring it out here, set it up right here. Maybe try pumping fuel. We'll see in a minute. But I never even... I've never fucked with this thing yet, so... <clears throat> Hopefully the starter isn't shot. I don't know, starter's there. smoke out of that starter. Nope. She wants none of that. Huh. Well, it looks like I gotta wait for Steve to get here to pull start me, I guess. I'm gonna just dump a little bit down at the app anyways. Just a little bit to help her out. And just skip that hose thing, it's gonna drip anyway. Now what I don't know is if it's It does have a fuel divider in it. Come on, that's enough to know if she's leaking or not. Now this was the switch I was talking about. Fuel tank left or right? Like I'm not sure. I'm only assuming I'm on that tank. But I don't see another one. See if that helped anything. Alright, take two. Pull some fuel, baby. Pull some fuel. The next what I'll do is I'll clamp this so that that's running and I'll go blow into the neck of that. 
and give myself a good little head brush maybe. I could have blew on it with that pull on it at the same time. But I'll see if I made fuel all the way to the mechanical pump anyway. Okay. All right, for some reason my camera stopped recording, but I did end up uh, finding an old set of wires in my shop. And the firing order was right on the block, so I just, uh, luckily Steve marked number one. So I just went off of that and wired them in. Should be right enough to drive. <clears throat> so now all I had to do was make myself a fuel tank temporarily. I'll fill this little bit up. So wiring should be right. Fuel should be right. And you weren't hot wiring your ignition, you just had the key on? It was running off the key? I'm pretty sure I ran it off the key. Yeah. <laughs> you watch the video. We'll find out. <laughs> huh? Yeah, fuck. I was also in a grader. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll find out pretty quick. Like it's sad when you gotta watch. Like I had to watch my own video to figure out some shit I did on. <laughs> well, the only reason I watched it was to see if you uh, went over the firing order on it. It was on that sixty Fargo, and I was just like, "Holy shit! I got that thing drawn on its own tank and pump and everything. I couldn't believe it." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta get bungee cord for that too. Yeah, I'm just gonna tie that can down and. Everything else should be good to go. You know, fire, you want me to pull you onto the field? Yeah. yeah. Check out the restroom if you want to see that sweet 70 mile power wagon that uh, is running around the yard. All these trucks in this spot in my yard, there, these, are, these are all the rest farm trucks. Uh, well, most of them, anyways. But yeah, make sure you check out the rest farm for that 71 power wagon. He just kept running that day, so uh, we're saving a truck with a saved truck. Let's fucking go. Go, 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 go
Beauty, I was like, I got no brakes, go, go, go! <laughs> I don't think so damn loud, I couldn't tell if it was running or not. <laughs> like a minty. Oh yeah, so he's a quick and act. Fuck yeah. Definitely going for a rip. Got my wiring great. Oh, even the tack works. Not smoking near as much as when I first had it running. Doesn't look like it's smoking at all now. I can just shove you downhill. Huh? Wonder if I can just shove you downhill a little bit. Yeah, I can try. Oh, too heavy. Oh yeah, that power wagon, sweet. Try to drag me up that way, eh? But I don't run into you. This thing doesn't even smoke now. Why? This thing quit smoking. Did it? Yeah, it smoked like crazy when I first got it going. But yeah, I didn't see any smoke at all. Yeah, it sounds good. Tomorrow I gotta bleed the brakes. Trying to figure out where I'm going to park it. Probably going to have to run up and move that Jeep. 
gonna have to run up and move that Jeep. I'm gonna park this in my back there and then tomorrow I'll pull the starter off it. What's that? Is it? <laughs> Is that just oil smoke in there? Just burning stuff off of the manifold. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> no, that's sweet. I like it. Perfect spot for it right here for now. Crawl under it tomorrow and... Uh, Uh, Fuel in this came pretty bad. Oh. Yeah, nice little spill on more. Still right up. Oh, right there. Yeah, it runs good though. Oh, yeah. I love the sound of it. Sounds like an old Detroit or something. It sounds cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Well, did you see the size of the exhaust on it? No. It's got like three inch exhaust. Oh. But yeah, I didn't see any smoke. When I first ran it, it was smoking like crazy. Yeah, hopefully she's still got oil. <laughs> cloud like the yard. Well, <laughs> true, but it wasn't clattering. No, sounded good. It sounded silent. Yeah, 
I'm gonna bleed the brakes in tomorrow too, see if I can get anything. Yeah, even, I never yeah. even looked there under the floor. Oh, that's hydraulic slave is up there. Oh, that's a horn. <laughs> that's horns. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. so, uh, I'm pretty sure so this one's got a remote booster too. Oh yeah, that's under here. Yeah, if I get brakes on it, you could fucking I just buy a starter and you can run it. Yeah. You know, I probably would put uh if I can get brakes, I probably will put this service body on this. It would be, It'd be super pretty cool looking, you know. Yeah. It would look awesome. Yeah. Big ass bumper. You and you know those those two you. leather buckets I got them out of that Ranger, they're going in it. Yeah, definitely. That'd be great because right narrow. Awesome, yeah. yeah. Pull the seat right out. It's got sweet cab lights on it too. Do any of them work? No. You should just bang on it. It's got no park lamps though, so I bet you that's working. Yeah. But I do have signal lights at work. <laughs> yeah, you do. Ah, they're, uh, they're on the back too. <laughs> On the back too? What? Oh, the back driver's oh, side. I didn't think there was lights on the back. I yeah. Come off of the deck. I wonder if the uh, I wonder if the brake lights. Oh, nothing on the brake. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. That's, awesome. that's why this one flicks fast because the his back one's out. Yeah. Yeah, I love this thing. Jeep, go get the hood. <laughs> That's good, those wires in the shop come in handy. Uh oh. And I still gotta pull the cap off one uh one spark plug still had the cap on it. Like the little fucking metal piece. So yeah. Peel that back off so I can get the wire. It's just sitting on there right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, those are the original plugs that I'm shelf struck. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking great. I just scrounged around my toolbox. I was like, hopefully I got some plugs that'll fit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, there's a mechanical fuel pump. Yeah, that's why I thought it was fighting to go through that. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure that mechanical fuel pump will pull. Probably. Yeah. You know what? I'm probably going to pull... Put a jerry can over there in that corner. Yeah. Try to pull it off of that. Alrighty, well there she is. She's all parked up. That's gonna conclude episode one on that international. That's sweetheart. And uh, next episode we're gonna try to get a starter. Well, I'm gonna try to clean the starter, get that swapped in. And if not, I'll buy one and uh, try to get some brakes and decide if I'm gonna put a flat deck on it or if I'm gonna put a service body on it. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I do got a lot of stuff recorded, so I will, there will be more videos coming. But just trying to get everything organized after coming home from Nova Scotia. And I do have videos of that, too. But I just had to make a quick bit. Look at that tow truck. What a sweetheart. But I just had to make a quick video just to get something out. And I figured, well, what about a revive and drive on the old International? So there will be more videos to come. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it lots. And uh, you have a good day. Cheers.